Hey guys, it's me, and today we're going to be doing a squad builder episode, and this is my second upload of the day, hopefully, I hope, and this is going to be a pretty expensive one, so I'll hop right into it, unfortunately I couldn't get footage from the console, I had to use the web app because I couldn't get on the console, so sorry about that, but I don't think it should make too much of a difference. So as you can see, it's a 4-4-2 team, and it's got a bit of Russian League, a bit of Barclays Premier League, and a bit of Wedge and some people on the bench. Anyway, I will run you quickly through the team, if the bench will just go away, there we go. So in striker we have Gomez, this guy cost me about 37k, and he's really quite good. 86 heading, you can see 85 shooting, 79 dribbling, 81 pace, 4 star skills, and his finish shot is quite nice. Better than his power shot, and he's got a decent enough finish on him. Uh, beside him we have the second informed Kurtzikov, this guy cost me about 30k, and you can see pretty good stats there, 90 pace, 79 shooting, 80 dribbling, 80 heading, 70 passing, his main one's there, and this guy has a nice power shot, not so good a finesse shot I found, and here at right mid we have Aiden McGeady, this guy cost me 21.5k, and he's a pretty good winger, he's got 5 star skills obviously. And he's quick, he gets up and down the flank a lot. And he can score a couple of goals, not the best finisher, but but definitely better than his not informed card. At the right centre mid we have Shirokov. I didn't get the team of the year because he was overpriced when I was looking for him. But he's got some pretty solid stats, a 6-6 shooting lets him down. Apart from that he's got some good stats like 76 pace and 76 fending. On the other centre mid spot we have Amalfitano, I believe this guy is signed for Newcastle now. 77 pace, 80 shooting, 85 passing, and 80 dribbling, his main stats, 69 defending, but I found that wasn't much of a problem, he seemed to be able to get back and defend pretty well. Here at left mid, we have the most expensive player on the team, I managed to pick this guy up for pretty cheap, I believe about 350k, which is pretty good. 95 pace, 91 shooting, 93 passing, 98 dribbling, some pretty crazy stats there, and he's got 5 star skills. And is right footed, but I definitely recommend playing him at left wing rather than left mid if you can. For the purpose of this hybrid, I had to get him at left mid. I sometimes change him to a left winger in game because he's definitely more effective there. Here at left back, we have the informed Kieran Gibbs. This guy cost me 17k, not too much. He's got nice work rates, medium high, which means he will defend a lot. 86 pace, only 78 defending, but you don't really notice that to be honest. And he does get forward a little bit, and he's pretty good at swinging in crosses. And left centre back we have the inform Roger Johnson, and this guy's surprisingly cheap, 18k, which is pretty cheap for an inform centre back with 75 pace, and is defending 84 and heading 85 are both nice and solid. He's a good defender. Here right centre back we have the team of the year. I'll call him Tomas because I don't want to even try and pronounce his second name. 46k he cost me and he's also a solid defender you can see 76 pace 80 defending 80 heading which is pretty nice for a silver doesn't stand out particularly much but that's because this is a team full of gold players i'd say in the silver team it would be excellent and right back getting that zenit link with hubo tomas is anikov i believe he has high low work rates which is not ideal but mcgee can get back to cover him 87 pace 76 defending which is a pretty big bump on his not informed stats. 69 shooting actually isn't bad, he's got pretty good shots. 83 passing, 74 dribbling, 75 heading, an all round solid right back. And in goal we have Joe Hart, mainly because I didn't want to pay whatever 150k for a goalkeeper, aka the team of the year, Joe Hart. So that's why I got the non form, and the non form is already beastly, so I don't think, in my opinion, you really need a team of the year version. And on the bench I have, you can see Team of the Year Falcao, I've got Diara, can sub him in for Amal Fitano, same with Sissoko, and Cole can go at left back obviously, and then this random guy. So move on to the clips of this team now, and I probably won't talk too much about them. I apologise for some of the goals being sweaty, I was playing a couple of tournaments, and the people against me seem to be trying pretty hard, probably because I was using an all-informed team and they really wanted to beat me, because they were celebrating like crazy whenever they scored, which I guess I would probably do if I came up against an all-informed team. But anyway, so yeah, I apologise for any sweaty goals, 
and I didn't score too many skill goals with this team, but then again I don't score too many skill goals in general because even when I can use skill moves, which I can sometimes and gets past people, usually I fail to finish it off and people usually don't like clips like that in just like a highlights reel video so that's why I don't put those in for this play a subscriber thing I'd like to play a few of you guys if you want to so what I'll do is I'll put my gamer tag up on the screen for a few seconds now you can take it down and send me a friend request if you want uh, message me wherever I'm online and I will play you and record it and then I'll put say two or three of the games into one episode and just show you the other guys teams and stuff like that so uh, I'm not really sure how long the highlights will last but I believe coming to a close soon enough so yeah I hope you enjoyed this squad builder I'll probably be doing reviews on quite a few of these players before I sell them so yeah those should be good please leave a like if you enjoyed this subscribe whatever and I'll talk to you all next time